Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have a Kuhami 4K HD video capture card. And we're going to look at this thing today. So just starting off, it did come in this box right here. So this box came in this box and it included an HDMI cable. Now it's my understanding that in this box, it has a USB cable included, but depending on where you purchase it, if you only receive this, then you may or may not get an HDMI cable with it. So just keep that in mind. So this is the box it came in and you can kind of see the advertisement. It's kind of uh, telling you it's good for live streaming. And on the back, you get some specifications. I could zoom in so you could see that. Now right up on top, it does say HDMI input and loop out support up to 4K 60 Hertz. Now the Hertz is generally equivalent to frames per second, but that is not the recording. So that's just the uh, loop out support. So if you have this plugged in to let's say a computer, it also has a uh, HDMI output that you could uh, plug into your TV so you can see it displayed on your TV or perhaps another computer monitor. So the recording is actually a little bit less. So it's 4K 30 Hertz, or you could also do uh, 1080p at 120 Hertz. Now the capture format supports the YUY2, RGB32, or NV12. It can support Android uh, phones for both uh, recording and streaming. It also supports third-party software uh, compatible with UVC and UAC protocols. Now that's uh, basically what your webcam uh, operates from. It's also compatible with OBS, which is a very popular free uh, streaming software you can just download on your computer and also some other uh, platform software. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And here you see what comes in the box. As mentioned before, it does come with a USB cable. And the cable itself is USB type C, which connects to your device, and then USB uh, type A, which connects to your computer. Now, as you can see, there's a little blue color right here. So this is a 3.0 USB connection. Uh, to get the best performance out of the capture card, you do want to uh, plug this into an input with also this little blue color, as you can see here, to uh, receive that full 3.0. And the capture card itself, take it out of the package. It comes with a little protector. I love pulling these things off. Oh. So you might notice right off the bat that it looks really cool. It actually kind of has a space age design, really cool looking. Most capture cards I've seen are either square or rectangle. They just basically look like a little tiny brick. This one has a cool design. So I really appreciate the time they took to design the case. Now you may or may not like this. You may like the old brick style, that's fine. Uh, but I, I think this really looks cool. So looking at one side, you get two little plug-in HDMI input, which is the input from, let's say, whatever device you re, uh, you're bringing the video in from. Uh, that could be, let's say, a gaming device like a Switch or a PS5 or even a, a video camcorder. Um, and then you have the uh, loop out HDMI out. Now this does not go to your computer. This actually goes to, let's say a TV or another monitor that you just wanna view the video coming in. It's not actually recording anything. It's just an output view. And then you have the headphone jack right here. So you can listen to the audio uh, and a, an actual mic uh, a jack right here. So you can actually plug in a mic and record over the video that's being uh, going through the device. And then of course you have the USB type C connection that goes from the device into your computer where you're recording the video. And on the other side, you just get these, it looks like just some vents, some uh, well, uh, come interesting design red vents here. You also get some red venting on the bottom. And then it does come with a little user manual. As you can see here, it's just uh, like a fourfold uh, user manual. Here again, you're seeing some of the features similar to what we saw on the back of the box. Again, the system requirements, 
And then here you get in the specifications and once again, you could see the input resolution here and the preview and record resolution. Now again, the maximum recording resolution is the 4K 30 Hertz. Now that's the maximum you could get from the device. It all depends on the input resolution. So if, if let's say you're uh, plugging in a gaming console to your device, which uh, has a maximum of 1080p, then you're only gonna be recording at 1080p. So it will not bump up the resolution. And as I said before, the OSB streaming and capture software that you can download for free is actually extremely popular and uh, very highly rated and reviewed. And so they actually have some settings for the OSB software here. You can review that. You can see where the settings are. Uh, typically, you would set the sound settings separately from the video. And of course, you have the recording settings here. Now, these are just recommended settings. You could modify them as you desire. Okay, so it's time to test out the capture card. Now, I do have a switch right here. So we're going to be capturing the video from the switch with the capture card to my desktop computer. You could also do this with a laptop. So I'm going to start by taking the HDMI uh, cable, which comes from the switch, and plug it in to the HDMI in port right here. So just like this. And then I'm going to take the USB uh, C connection end and plug it in to the C connection right here. And here you have the back of my computer and you can see the USB 3.0 uh, inputs right here. You can see the blue color so that shows that they are the 3.0. And so I'm just going to take the type A connector here and plug it in to one of these ports here. If I can put it in the right way. There you go. And so I, after I plugged it into the computer, you could see that the unit lights up with these uh, red colorations. Now, this is strictly being powered through the USB uh, cable. There's no additional power cables. Okay, so here you see my desktop. It only has one little uh, icon right here, and that's OBS Studio. And that's how I'm going to show you how to set up the capture card. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the OBS Studio. And here you see OBS Studio open. And right now I have the source as just uh, the display capture. So it's basically capturing the uh, desktop display itself. And that's why you're kind of seeing these mirror images just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and open this uh, fully up. So you need to set up a new source for the capture card. Again, right now it's display capture, but I need to show uh, the capture card under this source. And to do that, you want to go to this plus button here and then go up the little menu to video capture device. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you get this create uh, select source. And so we're just going to create a new source. Uh, you can name this anything you want. Uh, you can name it as video card, etc. We're just going to keep it as default uh, video capture device. And I'm just going to unselect, make this visible just so you could see what I'm doing. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. And so what you want to do for the device, you want to make sure it's selected at 4K USB 3.0 Capture Pro, and that is uh, your capture device. And so I think I'm going to keep everything else default. I think the instruction manual actually uh, says keep uh, change the resolution to custom, but I'm just going to do default uh, since I've had some issues uh, d depending on the device. Uh, I think the default works really well. And then for for my purposes, I'm just going to capture audio only. Uh, I'm going to plug in my headphones to the device themselves so I can listen. And I think we're all set. Now you could read here that it says no video. And that's because the switch is not turned on. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on right now. And hopefully this no video will disappear. 
and sure enough it disappears and you can see the switch is uh, active and so let's go ahead and hit OK and then when I go ahead and hit this little eyeball right here uh, we will see the actual capture device and you'll see the whole screen fill up and there you go this is the switch and you can see it displayed right there and so we'll just go ahead and hit uh, A to continue. And there you go. You could see uh, there's various games already uh, installed. Well, some of them need cards, I think. Let's see. Let's open up one. Pokemon Sword is a digital, so we'll go ahead and open up this one. And there you go, you could see the, um, the game starting up and you can see the video is, uh, it looks pretty nice quality. Um, and this is being captured uh, through the card. This is not a direct input, this is actually being captured by the card itself. So let's go ahead and start her up and see what happens. And it looks really nice. So the sound looks uh, sound sounds very nice, and the uh, video is looks like it's very high quality. So I'm very happy uh, with the results of this capture card. So uh, I think I think it works. And there you go. That is the Kohami 4K capture card, and it seems to work really well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen, and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.